Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. I'm at the Causeway here in Lamar, kind of looking back towards Rockport. We've read these historical markers before about the old Causeway and Fishing Pier. It is gorgeous. It's the start of a few very nice days for us. We needed the rain, but this will be a nice break for us. We can all uh, hang our underwear out to dry. And <laughs> whatever else you got. I'm only kidding. I don't wear underwear. <laughs> Underwear's for bedwetters. I haven't done that in months. I wanted to say good morning to my friend Fernando. Fernando's a good dude, landscaper here in town. Fernando, I need to get a hold of you, buddy. I need to find out if uh, you do houses over here in Holiday Beach. And Fernando, good morning. And I got someone else that wants to say good morning to you. Guys, I know there's usually a screaming goat here. To tell you the truth, I've been having some issues with my videos. Two of my favorite things are the screaming goat and the roll my intro part. Well, I have some issues going on and I need to figure them out so they won't be in the videos for a while. I do have on my Amazon list a little push button screaming goat and uh, we're going to get that sound of the screaming goat back in the videos but not the actual clip. I've been using uh, video shop for my little clips and uh, yeah they're just not working on YouTube. There's uh, something going up going on with video shop and YouTube. I don't want to talk a whole lot about it. I'm just telling you certain things are going to be out of the videos for a while until I figure them out. I had a very good day over in Lamar while I was making the other two Thanks videos. Thanks for being gorgeous. I was able to shoot clips. I appreciate you. Of a whole lot of deer, more deer than I have You're okay, ever baby. seen over there in one hour before. I saw nine bucks together at one point. Lots of flowers. Lots of interesting things. I'm really fortunate to live in this area guys i love rockport i love what i have access to here the uh the beach the restrooms i know where everything's at i have friends and family here i do want to travel i just haven't had the money to travel and uh port aransas is nearby goose island is nearby lots of little towns are nearby and i'm going to make the best of that and take advantage of those things I would love to get on the road and travel again especially to see friends it's just not in the budget right now and uh, there's so much to do here that's one of the guys here at the beach as I narrate this section he's working that's what I mean I know a lot of people apparently I know a lot of deer as well because they're not afraid of me at all <laughs> I'm going to get you guys uh, back to the video in a little bit. I just wanted to tell you what was going on. Some of you have noticed. Uh, everyone, not everyone, a lot of people really like the roll my intro and they like it when I say their names. And I'm going to keep saying a name at the beginning. I'm going to keep plugging my friends' channels. And I'm just going to try to keep everything positive and moving along and not address this issue again. I think a lot of people come here to look at the scenery and see the dolphins and see the birds and see the deer and see if I made it through another night of sleeping in my truck. And there's just so many beautiful things around here. If you're watching the channel, I really appreciate it. Thank you. It is a gorgeous day. And as soon as I'm done this little segment, I'm going to get my grabber that my buddy Jim gave me and go pick up that trash in the corner of the screen there because it's driving me nuts and it's wrecking my postcard hold on there you go that's not bad but I still like it right here without the trash 
over here on uh, Lamar Holiday Beach area, the other side of the causeway. Mosquitoes aren't bad right here by the water, but the road's right around Goose Island State Park. I was putting on some off. Mosquito came over and slapped it out of my hand. <laughs> they got some big ones over here, guys. It's going to be a very nice day. Man, I want to go to the beach. Let's get a couple days of sun and get Port Aransas beaches together so we can go hang out there. Maybe do a couple overnights. If anyone's missing some mosquitoes over in Lamar, they're in my truck right now. I'm going to bring them over to uh, this side of Rockport for you. <laughs> I saw uh, Pops had a sign out front. They're only open Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays now. I think before they were closed Mondays and Tuesdays. Does that sound right? And they also have a help wanted sign. So. I just don't know uh, if they're closed because they can't find help or they just want some shorter hours now that most of the summer rush is over. But the snowbirds will be coming soon. Just thinking about birds. Snowbirds had me uh, take a little mind vacation there. I like the spring, and I like about a month from now, all the birds start showing up. September, we get a lot of hummingbirds. I do miss having uh, hummingbird feeders, just so I could get up close and watch the hummingbirds. There were places, there was a place, one place in Rockport I used to go to, and it was definitely a spot you could see hummingbirds, but the lady doesn't put out all the uh, feeders anymore. And she was an older, very nice woman, right there on uh, Timothy Street, kind of behind the um, visitor center at Fulton Mansion. I used to call her the Hummingbird Lady, and she always had. Uh, man, I wouldn't be surprised if she had 50 or more feeders out there, and the hummingbirds would be there. You could get up real close to them. Hummingbirds just aren't intimidated by people. I don't know if they're brave or not too smart. <laughs> Maybe a combination of the two. We got a nice postcard view. Mosquito bum rushing my postcard shot. I can hear lots of bugs. They're singing today. turkey vulture flying over there can I get him in the shot yeah he's in the shot he's just tiny you know what guys it's time for a horrible horrible dad joke I highly recommend you go over and check out Jim at the dog man chronicles I'll put a link to one of his videos in my community page Jim uh, travels in his van and he's got four dogs good guy retired policeman and I highly recommend it. I really enjoy his videos. He's got a little bit of everything on there. What's the only thing that works better once it's been retired? A car. That one took me about two and a half seconds, but I eventually got it. The, the signal was coming across, but my receivers weren't interpreting that joke. It, it took me a while. I told you to go check out Jim's channel. So a couple of you people have asked me where that hidden spot was. Now this is a spot Devin first told me about, and I honestly had never noticed it. We're on the Rockport side of the causeway. And uh, i probably driven by it 50 times before Devin pointed it out to me. There's this little path right here. <gasps> Turkey vultures. Dun, dun, dun. There's a, there's a nice postcard. Wow, everything's green. That looks like a black vulture to on the right and a turkey vulture on the left. I don't see the red on the one on the right. So, Oh, 
a third one. Sweet. Yeah, if you go down there, there's a few picnic tables, covered picnic tables, and apparently turkey vultures. But, uh, yeah. I miss driving around with Devin. She was fun. Devin's doing very well, guys. No need to worry about Devin. I'm worried about what's dead over there with all those vultures around. <laughs> you know, with all that rain, I forgot how pretty this area is when the sun's out. There are some people uh, taking their kayaks out of the water back there on the left. So I'm going to give them some privacy. But I did get a good morning. There's a Eugene. Hey, Eugene. All blue herons are named Eugene. It's odd that the wind's coming from that direction. There's a fish some birds have been working on. What do you think, guys? Bolt of lightning hit it or a boat trailer? <laughs> it's split. Let me get out of here. Oh, they're just backing up at the boat ramp. I'm not in their way. There's the causeway. There's another Eugene. Drying one wing at a time. Because he's really cool. <laughs> Good morning, friend. He doesn't appreciate my humor. Matter of fact, no one appreciates my humor. <laughs> Can we edit that out, guys? I've been here in planes all morning, and then I just spotted one. I think they're doing touch and goes over at Aransas County Airport today. Because there's two that are kind of flying the same flight path. Big loops. And I can feel the heat from the sun already, guys. It's coming. Winter is coming. Just not quick enough. This is a nice looking pier. Look at the lights they got on there. And I like how they don't have the rails on both sides, but I don't know. I'd be afraid I'd wind up in the water. <laughs> Here comes a plane. Yeah, they're definitely doing touch and goes. Hold on, I'm working on it. There's your postcard. Greetings from Rockport, Texas. I think a lot of the fish are happy about this nicer weather. They probably got sick of getting wet, huh? <laughs> but, I mean, the grass is green. The black-eyed Susans are everywhere I've gone the last few days. Are they a year-round flower? I don't know. When, uh, when we get that first polar vortex of the year, I'll let you know if I spot any. Someone owes me a dollar. I almost started singing Sunshine on My Shoulder, but I didn't. You're welcome. <laughs> I, I better get a dollar, I'm telling you. Well, gas is $2.99 a gallon at the Murphy. I live in the United States of America. 
Thanks for riding along today, guys. Thanks for watching.